Hey, welcome back to Spirit Music Meetups. Mike Burris here. You know, I was out here in this little park that's along the Pantano Wash by Lowe's, home, uh, you know, the other Home Depot, right near Baggins. The other Baggins uh, had a big fire, so for a couple months, we're gonna all have to find another place to, to go to. So uh, there's this little beautiful park that runs along the Pantana Wash right over here. And there's this very interesting slanted architecture uh, doorways all the way through this park. And it just goes on and on and on along the uh, wash here. And there's people waving and running by and everything. And so uh, I'm out here giving you a little drum lesson. I just was uh, looking at this little piece of tape here on my practice pad on my trusty little snare drum from way back in the 70s my John Bonham big beat and you say why is that piece of tape there well I think I remember reading uh, that Billy Cobb him has such you know from Mahi Snow Orchestra he's such a great drummer super fast single strokes but he talked about having a, a, a silver dollar, and I think he went down to a half dollar, and then a quarter, and then a nickel, and then finally to a dime. And he would hit on top of it, and he could hear it go clink, clink, clink. Well, I don't want the clink, clink, clink. I want the, the sound of my drum sticks on this practice pad on top of my snare drum to kind of give it a snare drum effect, but without making all the noise. I like these off-world practice pads a lot because they have the feeling of a field drum. It has a nice rebound effect and you can turn it over and it has uh, <clears throat> another harder effect. Very similar though. But it doesn't have that rim. Now I love these Kevlar rims because they don't damage your sticks and these sticks aren't cheap so it has the effect of a rim shot so what is this here for you know in so many videos I mentioned this uh, idea of focus and I'm going to include some of those links to other videos down below on this video and feel free to add your own links in the comments and your own ideas because this is a teach one another organization because koinonia, koinonia is a Greek word for fellowship and it means partnership and all the verses of scripture in the New Testament uh, refer to a one another you know love one another and each of you each of you each of you bring a psalm, a hymn, a spiritual song, a song that comes from the Spirit, um, a teaching, a revelation, a prophecy, a word of knowledge, a word of wisdom. All these things are one another things. And the, really, the word is reciprocal in the Greek. It's one another, back and forth, mutually beneficial. So I say, what is this little thing down here for? It's to help me focus. It's a reminder to help me focus my sticking right there so I can hit. So this helps me focus. Without hitting my stick tips. You know, a lot of my students will hit. I've had 5,000 plus students. Angle this a little bit more for my left hand grip. It's to help build stick control, little tiny um, muscles, right? Little changes in muscle tension, or I should say, muscle muscular control, to keep the sticks from you know moving around in my hand. I, a lot of times I use a mirror, but I'm using the phone as a mirror so I can judge the height of my sticks 
I can make it go at a different level on my shirt so I can develop stick control. So I'm trying to bring, up, bring them up to the, the same height. If you hear a lot of sound in the background, that's Lowe's, all the loading. You know, you get what you get in this world. You know, there's a lot of noise pollution. It's hard to find a place that doesn't have a lot of noise pollution. I hope you can hear my voice over it all. So what do you use to focus? I use focus for stick control. Also, I can put pieces of tape on the rims so I can say that's my high tom, this is my middle tom, this is my low tom, this is my hi-hat. So I learn how to go out to other drums uh, and cymbals. I can even go out and say this is instead of my middle tom, if I just have a high tom and a low tom, I can call this my ride cymbal. I can even make th pretend these are a crash and a crash, my right crash and my... See, notice I'm putting the bass drum under the crash. And if you had double bass, you could make, you can go. You can keep your bass going while you hit the crashes. That's wild. So there's a lot of things you can do with a practice pad. It really programs your mind, which programs your body. It's a little cold out here, so I got a couple different jackets on. This is my old website, Teach Me to Drum. It was just one way communication, but this this whole organization, Spirit Music Meetups, uh, is for you to teach one another. So get the word out. I'm just one voice among many, but we need to be a community. And it's really, the, a lot of the website is not just my drum lessons, which is on everything. And you can see that on the drum page, but really about learning together, anointed, prophetic and spontaneous music. So you might see some of that in some of the videos that I'll link below. See, with, without, I, I teach focus is fire. Focus is power. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, this big magnifying glass, right, that I would illustrate this with, the sun's rays would go through that magnifying glass and it would focus the rays of the sun, which were, you know, I mean, it's kind of cool out here, but I could focus those rays of the sun down to a little tiny point, and it would create fire. It would burn anything, <laughs> practically. And uh, it just always amazes people, always amazed me as a kid. And I say focus is fire, I say focus is fire, focus is fire, and it focuses power. Because you know that fire is used to generate power. I mean, that's, that's what the natural gas burn, you know, burn, burning natural gas creates power. It creates uh, power to run our electricity. You know, a lot of things are generated by fire. There, they just dropped something off. So, it is with our own mind. There's so many things going on in this world right now. It's very distracting. If you watch the news, you're very distracted. There's so many things that are going on. Are we about to go, go to war with Russia over Ukraine? Over, over open borders? Border, border dispute? Over um, immigration, uncontrolled immigration from Russia? Um, but we have open borders and we have uncontrolled immigration, so I don't think that's the purpose. <laughs> it might be all about money. It might all be about oil, because I know that's why Russia is in Ukraine, for the oil. Maybe that's why we're going. Just like the Iraq war, 
everybody knows it was about Halliburton and Cheney's connections to Halliburton and Bush's connections to Halliburton, and they were controlling the oil fields over there. It was all about money. I had other things got into it as well, but certainly a lot of money. So, I don't know. I don't want to get politics into this too much. So, focus. See, I wasn't focused. I got off on to politics. But here we have focusing on this, our technique. I use a mirror to help me focus on technique. I, hear, I, I use this to help me focus on my stick control and when I play drum set usually I can break out the rhythm into three or four limbs playing the rhythm and I can see that a lot of times one or two or even all three of the four limbs are playing something that's very steady and repetitive and we call those ostinatos like for instance one and two and this is a timekeeper on cymbal and snare drum on two and four one and two and three and four and and maybe even a hi-hat on one two three four one and two and now i learn how to play that ostinato because it just repeats itself and i just keep that ostinato going and going and going and i focus I focus my mind on the thing that is not part of the ostinato. I focus it on my right foot, which is the bass drum melody. So that is what I'm focusing on. And maybe I'm seeing a piece of paper or I'm listening to the rhythm in music and I'm following the bass drum part, or I'm sorry, I'm following the bass guitar part. <laughs> but if I'm listening to a drummer, I'd be listening to the bass drum. But remember, you're in a band, you're, there is no drummer. You're listening to the uh, bass guitar part. <clears throat> and it might be, you know, playing dum, da, 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 dum, da, da, da. So now I'm focusing on my singing but I might focus on the counting of it if I knew it if I saw it on paper one two and three one two and three one two and three one two and three one, two, and three. one. notice I added a little melody to it it's kind of sounding like the bass guitar part one two and three one two and three one two and three, one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Now I can turn that into the sounds of drumming, you know? Or the sounds of the bass guitar. Dum, da, da, da. Dum, ba, da, da. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, 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 ooh. And now that I've programmed my mind, left brain counting. See, I'm just focusing on the melody. I'm not focusing on the ostinato. I'm focusing all my thoughts to the front of my brain and pushing everything else to the back of my brain. It's like a stage, a music stage. You got the spotlight on the singer or maybe the guitar player, the lead guitar player. But the rest of the band is in the shadows. It's in the back of the stage just doing their thing right but the limelight the spotlight is on the singer or the lead guitars that's in the front of the stage now in front of my brain one two and three one two and three and I'm making that my focus that's a left brain left brains math it's the it's the tape measure it's the measure of time, and I'm getting it perfectly in time with my ostinato. Mental coordination, I'll get that, coordination. 
mental coordination, <laughs> I can say it right, and do all this, right? Mental coordination comes before physical coordination. It's like the computer program. Somebody had to write the computer program. Now I'm going to get it into the right brain where music and art and abstract thinking and spirituality, I mean, they know this because they hook your brain up and you can see it light up. Dum, 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 dum. Dum, 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 dum. And now I'm going to, I've got my right brain. I usually do it four to eight times. I like four and eight because almost all music is four and eight. Bum, ba, da, da. Bum, ba, da, da. Bum, ba, da, da. Bum, ba, da, da. And now I'm 90% of the way there, so I just let my body do what I just said, right? Play what you say and play it as you say it. Bum, bum, ba, da. Bum. Now I have a little coordination problem here. So I might stop all this and see if I could just go like this. Notice I mostly don't count anything but the groove, which is the right foot. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three. See, that's the one, two, three, four. One, two, and three. 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 So that might be a problem for some of you. So maybe just get this going. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. See, that's another way to focus. I'm just doing two limbs and focusing on the one that changes. Two and three. One, two, and three. Dum, da, da, da. Dum, da, da, da. And maybe I'll just do, keep this going. Dum, da, da, da. Dum, da, da, da. I'd have to say that four to tell me where to play. One, two, and three. 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 Boom, 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 boom. 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 Yeah, we got a YouTuber. On a bicycler, woo! He's jamming out. So now maybe I'll get this going. Bum ba da da, bum ba da da, bum ba da da, bum ba da da, bum ba da da. Maybe I'm gonna get just this, this, and this going. See, I'm working combinations of two limbs until I develop that coordination. One, two, and three. 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 See it? I found there's some problems there, so maybe I'm going to work on one, two, and three. One, two, and three. So I'm trying to find where the problem is, focusing on, on one thing at a time. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Boom, boom, no, no. Boom, da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Now maybe this. Boom, da, da, da. One, two, and three. 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 So 
I broke down all my rubber bands. That's the connections between the different limbs. And I focused. So that's, that's just one way to focus. This has gone on a long time. But you get the idea. You can't focus on four things at once. You have to focus on two things at once, right? Maybe just one thing at once while another thing just keeps steady. Two things steady, focus on the third. So break it down to where you can hopefully just think about one thing at a time. Cinch by the inch. It's hard by the yard, but cinch by the inch. How do you eat of an elephant? Oh my gosh, where do you start? one bite at a time so see that's that focus again focus on the small little steps you have to take to do a really big task look at each step that you have to take find out where the weak link is i have a video on that find where the weak link is focus on the weak link you know a chain long chain is only strong as its weakest link it might be here it might be here wherever it is when you pull on that chain it'll break in the weak link, wherever it is. So wherever broke, just focus on that problem. You saw I did that, right? I just focused on the problem and focused on that until it was strong again. And then I could put the chain back together and see where else it breaks and just focus on that problem. So I hope you get some ideas. If you have some ideas how to focus, focus is fire down to that point. Focus is power, ability. Power is dunamis, where we get the word dynamite. The Greek is dunamis, means enabling ability. In a case of God, supernatural enabling ability, far beyond your own abilities. You know, the answer is always no. The result is always no. It's just like having a no answer if you never ask right if you never ask the answer is always no so you always hear jesus say routinely habitually keep asking keep seeking and keep knocking and that that takes faith doesn't it it takes trusting reliance depending faith in someone who is trustworthy to continue routinely ask seek and knock ask until it is given to you seek until you find right i found it eureka i have found it and knock until he opens the door you know there's a lot of things in the way you're in the way a lot of people are in the way this world is in the way there are spiritual forces you can't see, but other people see them routinely. I know people that see them routinely. I've seen them at times, Think, and you don't want to see them all the time. This will really drive you crazy, and it will frustrate you. And uh, when you see what's going on around you right now in the world, it's frustrating enough when you just hear the news of what's going on in the world. But greater is he who is within me because Christ was victorious. He conquered. He defeated the world. He defeats, defeated Satan. They couldn't keep a good man down. Cut that term. You can't keep a good man down. He rose from the grave. He defeated death. You know, where is your sting, O oh death? So now, his Holy Spirit, which is the enabling, dunamis, power, it's hard to look in this and hit that, it's hard to look in a mirror or this camera and hit that, that thing, you gotta really, it's weird, it's like combing your hair in a mirror, it's like everything's backwards. The dunamis power of God is the Holy Spirit, and we just need to ask, seek, and knock. And uh, I did that a little bit today, and here I'm sharing it with you. So God bless you. If you have any ideas, put them down in the comments so that we can learn from one another, okay? 
and be kind because there is a, a moderator, especially in the website. There's links to the website, you know, so uh, that's even, it's got everything imaginable out there. So go check it out um, and, you know, you know, be blessed and, and get the word out. Um, so you'll know what's coming up. Just hit the subscribe button so you're alerted. You know, I don't always get out to do this, but it's beautiful. The sun's going down. So God bless you.